Oh no, come on. This needed to be longer, son of a bitch. I've come to realize why it's taken me so long to get this house done. And that would have to be lack of experience. I was applying that thing four times to cut one piece of wood. But I'll get better on the next section. Because I know what not to do. I'm gonna have to take a break and go to the spring spring well uh, it's about a 15 minute drive to get there but boy it's worth it it's good water now what I have to do is I'm gonna have to again slide the uh, scaffold over just another probably a foot or so maybe two feet maybe I'll just slide it the whole way I don't know anyway I got slide it over in order to get the next section up but I pre-measured this time so I can do all my cutting I can move it and I should be ready to go I really probably should write that down though okay well my generator wouldn't start I thought well it does could be a little low on gas so I filled it up it starts for about two or three seconds and dies so I thought maybe it was the oil shutoff valve so I checked the light wasn't on I checked the oil and actually there was so much a little came out so I cleaned that up screwed it back in plenty of oil pulled it and it'll last about two or three seconds and die do it again it'll die immediately kind of tells me that if I let it sit for a few minutes and pull it then it'll last like five or six seconds so in my head I'm thinking well something's clogging the gasoline maybe there's a screen in it um, that is clogged that needs to be cleaned out I'm not in a position to check it out now so my neighbor just got back from his appointment and he's grabbing his generator and he's on his way over just getting back from lunch let me show you where we are I still got to nail that in in place and then we have the other piece cut and after that I'll be done with the north side of the of the house laying the OSB here's a, a another look there Remember the house is 24 feet long, one foot at a time. All the OSB is up, so that's great. So at least when it rains, it's gonna shut off the roof out of the house for the most part. I'm setting up the scaffolding now. I'm setting it up so, as you see, there's a scaffold there and a scaffold there, but we set it up in a way where a bridge can be done right here, that way. I can just walk across we don't have to move these things except for maybe a little bit here my plan was to leave first thing in the morning but I found out that I actually rented the scaffold on Friday morning today's Wednesday so I can stay another day I'm gonna to try to stay in I am gonna stay another day and try to get this done the OSB has to be done um, before I can get started on the roofing so that's what I'll do. You can really feel the heat on this side. Okay, it's really the end of the day. I didn't do much more. Uh, my neighbor came out and helped me get the scaffold situated. Let me show you how we set this up. 
what we did is we put two scaffolds side by side, but yet in length so we could put another landing in between. See how there's no scaffold here? There's a landing there and there. And then when we're ready to go on this side, we'll just move the scaffolding over. But we'd like to leave this one here so I have something to stand on while I go to the next one. So we'll slide this one over to here so I have two platforms and go to town. I'll take off one of those braces, although this roof is solid. But we'll take one of those braces off, do that, and just work my way down. Then I'm going to fill that patch up because that looks ridiculous, doesn't it? Rain's getting in. And then I should be able to call it a day because there's no way I can move forward on getting the, um, the material on the roof and then start putting the metal down. That's going to have to wait until next time. But I, I'm excited about this. This, this is happening <laughs> slowly. All right, well, today's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday. I'll see you then.